Hey guys, it's Jason back again with an unboxing and review of the stainless steel link bracelet for the 42mm Apple Watch from MoCo. This bracelet comes in at just $60 on Amazon, and it is a budget friendly replacement to the Apple branded one. This band comes in a cardboard box with a foam insert. Opening the packaging, we are greeted with the bracelet itself, a bag with two extra spring bar pins, a SIM card removal tool, and some instructions for removing the links. Removing the protective plastic and right off the bat just holding the bracelet, it feels very solid. It doesn't feel cheaply made and has a nice weight to it. It features a double locking clasp like that found on the Apple bracelet. The steel is very smooth and has a brushed texture to it. There was no visible gaps in between the links that I could tell. Looking around the bracelet and you can tell they paid a lot of attention to detail. The clasp locks up tightly and doesn't take a lot of force to close it. When I received the bracelet, I thought that removing the links was going to be a pain, but I was pleasantly surprised that I did not run into any problems while doing this. I have bigger wrists and I still had to remove two links from both sides. The spring bars are easily removed with the included tool and they just take a little patience to put them back in. Installing the bracelet was just as easy as installing any other band. I didn't have any issues with it not locking in the right position. There are a lot of great things to say about this bracelet. It has a great build quality, it's easy to install and adjust to your correct size, and it looks great on the stainless steel Apple Watch. But there are some things that were not so great. Like for instance, if you have hairy arms, this might not be the band for you. Just a slight movement in the watch would result in pulling the hair on my arms. Also, as good as the band looks, mine did have a problem with the band sticking out a bit on the sides of my Apple Watch. I know that this bracelet is a fraction of the cost of the Apple branded one, but this was a deal breaker for me. It just made it look like a cheap replacement. One of the things I love about my Apple Watch is all of the clean lines and curves, but because of this problem, it altered the way it looked. I'll leave a link in the description down below in case you would like to try one for yourself. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.